All right, we are here on the first official night of 4-H, and they just announced quite a few award winners, including on my left, Miss Kendra Muncy, congratulations, and on the right, Miss Kelsey Miller, and they were the 10-year award winners. And ladies, congratulations, and you know it's a cliched question, but I will ask it because it's appropriate. Um, first of all, with 10-year, I believe you have to have the most projects. Do you ladies have any ideas how many projects you've had over the years? Um, I know that one year I took 13. 13, okay. <laughs> I think I counted mine and I have close to 90. 90, okay. And how many, uh, I was going to ask how many hours, let's just say in like the 13-year. <laughs> So, did you anticipate, what drove you to take so many projects in all those years? You can go first, okay. Um, I think it was just trying a variety of projects so that I could find out what I liked and what I wanted to stick with. Uh -huh. And then I could see what I didn't like, you know, if first year, second year, I didn't have to take it again, I could find something else that I did like. Okay, uh, good idea. I always try competing with my big sister. <laughs> she took every project that is up in the building and in the barns. So that was always a really big drive for me. Also, I wanted to try my best and be able to do as good as I could. Now, I don't mean to put you on the spot here, and it might sound like a bit of a silly question, but are there any projects you think might the new exhibits that 4-H might want to ever include or do you think that might really meet some new kind of needs or maybe meet, reach out to some kids who might not know what to do with 4-H? I know there's quite a bit of selection already though. But. Yeah. Um, I think it just depends on what kids like and what they bring to the advisor's attention. If they find something that they like that isn't available then they need to say something and so that can be offered. Okay. Yeah. And one final question, any advice for kids? who, you know, I imagine sometimes the hours get a little long, you guys would know, it can be tough. How did you stick with it? Any advice for those kids? Just keep going. I mean, it's all worth it in the end. You meet so many people through animals, through projects up in the expo hall. I mean, it's all completely worth it. Even times when you don't get first place, there's always another chance. So. I agree completely. There's um, so much you can learn, and if you put the hard work and the dedication into it, there's always going to that satisfaction is going to be brought to you afterwards. Whether you win or not, it's just the fact that you put your effort into it and did your best. Excellent. Well, ladies, thank you very much, and again, congratulations. Thank you.